Many of you who have been in the stock market for a long time would appreciate the feeling when markets fall 5, 10, 20 percent and you run out of cash, when your favorite stocks are 10 percent, 20 percent down from where you bought last time or where you would have bought in general. Let's prepare for that situation using gold. Most of us would have our annual bonuses in the account by now. Equity markets are at all time high, but they have been choppy off late. Global signals are not very clear. Where are FIs heading? India, China, where are interest rates headed? So there is a lot of uncertainty today. What is the hedge for uncertainty? Gold. My hedging strategy using gold is pretty simple. It assumes that gold rises when the times are uncertain. For example, during pandemic, gold nearly doubled. Since then, it has been consolidating, has gone up a bit, but more or less in the range of roughly 60,000 to 65,000 per 10 gram 24 carat in India. So what is my strategy? Over time, I have reduced my equity positions from the larger stocks. The idea is that I am anticipating a large fall. It may come, it may not come. It's okay if I go wrong. But I don't want to miss out on the opportunity when the big fall comes. Now, where do you keep liquidity waiting for that situation? Because that may take two months, it may take six months, one year. I honestly don't know when the big fall will come. But a big fall typically comes every three, four years. And there has not been any large fall since the pandemic. Ukraine war fall was probably a week or two week major fall. But it market was had a V-shape recovery. So basically around the level of 62,000, 64,000. And this story began when the gold was around 55,000. I have steadily invested via SGB into gold. What that means is basically that when the markets eventually fall, there is some sort of war. There is some unrest in the market after two major elections, India and US get over later in the year. So markets may correct significantly. And if there is a turmoil, if there is a problem, gold will go up. My personal expectation is that somewhere around the end of this year, maybe sometime next year, gold may even cross 80,000. This may or may not happen. Gold may even cross one lakh. I don't know. This is my theory. At that stage, if equity markets are down by say 20-25%, gold is up about 30%. My simple strategy is liquidate the positions in gold. Yes, there will be a tax due and use that money to buy equity. If I put the money into fixed deposit or something, six months, one year, I don't know when the opportunity will come. I have to break the FD, give a penalty. The interest rates will be pretty low. In gold, as long as there is reasonable liquidity, I'll be able to liquidate my SGB positions a little here or there. So what if this doesn't happen, say, for three years? Let's assume that after three years, there's a global event. Gold at that stage becomes 85,000 or something. I would have made 30%, which is like 10% every year. Stock market, the general expectation is 14, 15%. So not too much behind the stock market returns for the next three years. In the event this happens earlier, then gold would have given against 10, 20, 30% return in a quicker time. And I can then use that money to buy equity. I don't know the strategy for equity as of now, frankly, because I don't know how much markets will fall, what will be the event, will it be a over the time kind of correction or it will be a sudden crash. Markets may actually not crash, they may just consolidate for 6 months, 1 year, 2 year, which means they will eventually go nowhere, go up 5%, come down 7% and this strategy protects my downside. Equity has actually gone up like a rocket in the last couple of years. Whether the earnings will justify the levels, EPS levels, because remember next year, when the results start coming from Q1, they will compare to the high Q1, Q numbers of previous year, year on year, high numbers of the previous year, which are pretty, pretty high compared to the base numbers, which were on top of a pandemic. Market typically sees Q1, Q, the growth has reduced, year on year, the growth has reduced. So they no longer tolerate high PEs and tend to exit the equities, which are trading at a very high PE. If you have agreed to buy gold, then the standard question which comes every quarter when SGB new issue is around. Should I buy SGB, physical gold, digital gold? There is no right or wrong. SGB has benefits, 2.5% interest rate per annum for the next 7-8 years. So if you're buying for 8 years, you'll get 20% capital back taxable in interest. That's one return which no other instrument in gold gives. Second, in other formats, there is GST on buying and selling, including digital format. So 6% of your earnings will go in GST. That does not apply in SGB. Third, if you sell when SGB has matured, which means automatically money will be credited to you, then at that stage, there is no tax due. On all other formats, there is an LTCG of 20.8%, which is due at current tax rates. So overall, if it's an investment, SGB makes a lot of sense compared to other instruments based upon taxable numbers. Now, if you're going to buy as jewelry, there is no comparison. 
14 February is around the corner. If it's an aspirational gift or something, please go ahead and buy it. You can't compare it to an investment. In terms of strategy, there is one more very important aspect of SGB I like to share. Most people don't realize it. SGB, there is no minimum holding period for zero gains. So for example, if an SGB tranche is maturing in six months, whatever gains you make in next six months, there'll be no tax on it after six months. You don't have to necessarily hold for eight years to get that benefit. Which means if you are expecting a turmoil in a specific period, you could buy the tranche which is due just around that time. In a short period also, you might make tax-free gains on SGB while enjoying the appreciation as well. Assuming there will be turmoil via the strategy. One more typical question is, should I buy the new SGB issue or an existing one which may be slightly priced lower? In the bigger scheme of things, if you are going for 30-40% kind of gains, that's your goal. 1% here or there not gonna make too much of a difference. The only advantage of buying an older tranche like I mentioned in the strategy part is if you think that you would want to exit earlier. In that case, a tranche which matures in line with your expected time frame may make sense. The new tranche for zero taxation, you'll have to wait for 8 years. That's a big difference. So whether it is 6300 or 6200 for one unit, that is not a big deal for me. What matters is your strategy and how you handle the tax. That can actually make a lot bigger difference in your eventual gain in a percentage manner. Taxes on gold are slightly different from other instruments. The general long-term capital gain tax on gold is 24.8%. There is no TDS involved here. You should deposit the tax that is due as per your ITR financial year. Short-term capital gain tax is as per your tax bracket. Now, there's slight debate on it whether the STCG starts at one year or three year. My understanding is that bonds have three year, but SGP is an exception. After one year, you will be eligible for long-term capital gains. Till then, it is short-term capital gains. One year to eight year is LTCG. After that, it is tax-free. I'll share one example of physical gold which happened to me recently. Recently in my family, we sold very old jewelry for certain reasons. We no longer needed it. We went to a prominent jeweler in uh, Hyderabad and said, okay, please take this back and we want to buy something more. So they agreed to it and then they tested the old jewelry which was decades old. Bought from a very old renowned jeweler which we, whom we, our family trusted in a small town. They said it is 18 carat. We never cared. The ornamental value never reduced whether it was 18 carat or 24 carat. We probably paid for 24 carat. But the jeweler gave us 18 carat and the resale value was a lot lower than what we expected. So if you are not buying gold from a larger company which has a credibility associated with them, there could be fraud there also. There is a high chance in physical gold that you might pay for a higher carat value but get a lower carat value also whatever stones are in their jewelry in the end they will break it with a hammer and throw it away there is zero money given for the stones 